in this example from summer 15 paper 1-3, we're going to look at a not a manometer, uh, it's a double manometer. It's a W-shaped tube. GG. Okay. So this double tube, this W tube contains two different amounts of mercury, each open to the atmosphere. Okay. The air at pressure P is trapped in between them. Interesting. So we are saying that inside here is a sealed compartment with the air of pressure P. Okay. So I guess uh, what would be obvious would be at this point, the pressure here is the pressure of gas P. Lah. I'll just put P. P. Okay. Pressure of gas P. Just like the pressure pressing down here. The pressure pressing down here is P, P due to gas P. Okay. At pressure P. I think I'll just call this P. Lah. Okay. Air pressure at pressure P. The other two ends is open to our good old atmosphere. So here, this point here will be atmospheric pressure. And this point here will be atmospheric pressure. Okay. The diagram shows two vertical distances X and Y. So we have X here. And we have Y here. Noted. Atmospheric pressure is equal to the pressure that would be exerted by a column of mercury of 76 mm. So our atmospheric pressure, right, is equal to 76 mm of a column of mercury. You can treat all uh, this atmospheric pressure, this 760 mm mercury. All right. Of course, if we want to convert to Pascal, we can H-Rho-G, but I don't think we need to because the question is asking us which values of X, Y, and P are possible. Okay. And all the values are still in millimeter mercury. So we're going to stick to that unit. All right. Let's see. Don't panic first. You see something you never see before. Chill, chill. Take a breath. Okay, so when you see a question like this, always ask yourself, what was the working principle? What was the main idea that we had? That would be same height, same pressure. That's right. You're a big brain person, you. So we're going to find a place where the pressure is the same. For example, I know that this point here will have the same pressure. Let me make this bigger. Ah, no, no. This point, same pressure. Ah, I'm going to call this point. Okay, 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 let's call it something. Let's say I call this point A. And I'll call this point B. Pressure at A is equal to pressure at B. Same height. Same height. Same pressure. Okay. So let's think a bit. Who is pressing down on A? We have the pressure of gas P. Who is pressing down on B? Teacher, we have atmosphere, correct? Because it's open end. Huh? Is it only atmosphere? No, 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 my friends. We see this extra little bit, little bit of a mercury peeking out here. This part. Okay, what color should I use? Can I use green? This extra here? Ah. So this extra length of mercury, hmm, this sneaky length is actually 50 minus Y. We're keeping it in millimeter mercury because all your answers are in millimeter mercury. So it's atmospheric pressure plus 50 minus Y of mm mercury. But wait a second. Let me transfer this here so you can see clearer. Okay, we're back. So we know the pressure at P is equal to the same as the pressure at this point B. Why is pressing down on B? You have atmosphere and this extra column of mercury. All right. So what is the atmospheric pressure? They gave it to us, right? Atmospheric pressure. You see, uh, this question gave already. No, 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 no. I'll show you. 760 mm mercury. This is PATM. Okay. 760 mercury. So I can put 760 mercury into my equation. So this one will be 760 millimeter mercury plus 
50 minus y millimeter mercury. 760 plus 50 is 810. 810 minus y. Okay, so let's remind ourselves that this is in millimeter mercury if you want to. Two unknown, cannot solve. But is there another level where the pressure is equal? Well, yes, I'm happy you asked. The other level is here. Where do you want to use? Do you want to use here? Teacher can. Uh, can. Same height, same pressure. Ma. Of course, A and B. And okay, la, these two points, let's call it something else. Y and Z. A, no, no, no. Cannot call Y and Z because Y is being used. What alphabet should I use? I have R and S. La. Point R and point S. Okay. So at point R and point S, the pressure is the same because, again, same height. So the pressure at R will be equal to the pressure at S. So look at S. What is pressing down at point S? And teacher, the pressure P. Correct. So smart. And then what about R? Look at R. Huh? R is at the open arm of your manometer. Look up. There's atmosphere. There's also this XCM mercury. Oh, sorry. XMM mercury. So this one would be the atmospheric pressure plus x mm mercury i'm going to write this down at the side okay so this is what we had the pressure at r the open arm is atmosphere plus that x mm mercury and the other side nah, the other arm here r is atmosphere plus x mm mercury and then s here is only the pressure of p okay of course we already have the atmospheric pressure it is 760 mm mercury plus x. I'm just going to put 760 plus x. Ma. mm mercury is equal to p. Sure, we've got two equations. Can equate them. Ma. Because you see, uh, the answers. Okay, let me pull up the answers for you to look at. If I look at these answers, right, they're all like some various combination that I may need to test. So I'm going to crop this first. Mm -hmm. And then I'll place it beside and see if we can solve the equation by using the choices that's given to us. All right. So hmm, we can say equation one is equal, equal to equation two, of course, because they are both measuring the pressure of the gas that is sealed inside the W tube. So I will say 810 minus y is equal to 760 plus x. They are both in mm mercury, la, so no need the unit. La. They are the same unit anyway. right? So I move this around. I have x plus y on one side. x plus y is equal to 810 minus 760. So x plus y is equal to 50. Which x and y is not 50 can throw away. Ah, throw away, don't want, don't want. So this 20, 20, don't want. 30, 30, don't want. These two are wrong. Now you are left with 20, 30 and 30, 20. Now before you crack your head and try to form a third simultaneous equation by using, nah, teacher, I use the other length, I use this length, I use this length. No need, no need. Objective. So we can test the answers, right? So let's test, see your luck, oh, which one you want to test? Maybe we're going to test option B first. Okay, so we're going to test option B by substituting values of X and Y and see whether we get the same value. Can I? We're going to do option B. So I'll write here. We'll test option B. So for option B, X is equal to 20. So if I look at the second equation, I'm going to substitute my x into this thing here, this x here. I will substitute to this x here. So p is equal to 780 mm mercury. Eh, macam correct ah? Ah, correct lah. So is the answer b? Yes. Teacher, I don't feel very safe. Ah. Can I test c also? Ah, okay lah, okay lah. I let you test c. Let's test c. For c, x is equal to... Just go down the thing. 
30 mm. So if you put into equation 2, P will be 760 plus 30. Okay, plus 30. This is 790. Is this answer 790? Nope. So this is wrong. Because this one is supposed to be 790. So your answer is P. So there are a few things here that this question is testing you, right? The first one is to see whether you know how to use the simple idea where if it's the same height, it will have the same pressure. Okay, if it's the same height and has the same pressure, we can always uh, form equations and have a relationship between the pressure and then the length of the mercury column. Quick reminder, if everyone is millimeter mercury, there's no need to convert, you can keep the units, right? Second thing is a bit of like a creative problem solving skills, all right? You don't really need to find simultaneous equation if you are given options like this, huh? Get it? So what we will do is we will try to simplify the equation a bit to give us information so that we can eliminate whichever answer doesn't make sense. So first thing I did was to find X and Y, the relationship between X and Y. I eliminate A and D. And then I test the value for B and C. B find, found to be able to uh, satisfy the equation to get 780, but C cannot. Cannot get 810, we'll get 790. Put it back into this equation. And can the radio? Teacher, can I test Y in this equation? Can. Can, no problem. There are many ways to solve this question. It's a little bit about like, now you have two equations. How do you select for the most possible values? That last part there is a little bit of a critical thinking skill. Diverging problem solving. You got this. You just need to practice. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.